What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the fact that I'm three days away from getting Night Train Lane. Now, uh, over this past weekend, they had the Richard Dent, they had Barry Sanders, they had Rod Woodson, and I, you know, I tried to explain to you guys exactly, you know, what I think about it, what's going on with this whole situation, um, as far as the gameplay has been since the, um, you know, the most recent patch, and it hasn't really been good for your health. Uh, a lot of you guys think it's a joke, but you know what I'm saying, bro? Like EA is not out here playing any games. Uh, do I have any combine badges left? No, I don't. All right. So, you know, pretty much it's going to be four different versions of Night Train, right? Because, you know, defensively, they got to have, you know, the physical front, read and react. Um, what is that? The uh, blanket coverage. And then they got the other one. I, I forgot what the other one is. I don't even remember, bro. But it's like four of them you're going to get to choose from. Right now, I'm trying to figure out. I think I'm just going to make a silver token. Um, to get the uh, token part done, but yeah, this um, the situation is kind of crazy, and I don't know at this time if they're going to patch the game because I don't. The same way that I, you know, most of us thought that they wouldn't patch it, even with the um, you know, the way the game was playing with the actual hail mary glitch, and then they out of nowhere just patched it. I, I think they're starting to get excited about the fact that they can really destroy people's lives by you know doing a simple patch. Like it's it's starting to get really really crazy around these parts, but. Again, we didn't expect them to patch that. And to be honest with you, it was very easy to stop the Hail Mary pass glitch, even though people didn't understand it. Even if you, uh, you know, like with me, the first time that I actually played against somebody that did it, I lost by a field goal and it was a stupid play. I put the video out. It was a full video um, that I put out when the dude just came. I was running every glitch possible. It, it, it wasn't really difficult to stop pretty much man coverage and just blitz everybody and they don't have time to do it. And um, that was it, it was a wrap with that. But it turned out that EA wanted to patch it, and in doing so, pretty much the zones weren't working at the beginning of the year. They patched it, and then they made like the 91 zone meta, and then now they did this new thing where, you know, now now it's really really hard to determine if your player is going to actually play defense. Um, so that's where we are right now with it. So I don't know uh, pretty much what's going to be happening after we get this night train because I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some things that's going on with the team. And a lot of you guys have a lot of questions like, yo, bro, g Maya, yo, why don't you upgrade your team? It's sort of like this, right? I understand that the players are not going to do the things that I think they're going to do. So why should I upgrade the team? You see what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather just go out there with the players that I like. Like how I suggest to you guys, you go out there with the players you like, right? If you lose, you lose. Because even if you got, you know, you play a team um, that's OP or whatever the situation is, it's not guaranteed that they're going to be able to do anything. Now, the one thing I can tell you, this Tom Brady, all of a sudden, he's been throwing a lot of ducks, right? And um, we did pick up Devin Hester. Um, this guy right here, he's not bad, this guy, Deshaun Jackson. He's only a 94 speed, but for some reason, he gets behind the defense. I, I don't, it's really, really weird, bro, because Randy Moss, when I had him maxed out with toughness and he had 99 speed, he couldn't get behind anyone. So I, I don't really know what's going on with it. Plus, when you look at the prices of Randy Moss, it's like, it, oh my God. If you go to any other Madden, right? This is what I want you guys to do. Even if you log into Madden's pass and you check out prices, because you know they keep their servers up for a while and things like that. Randy Moss is still pretty expensive, like the highest level of him. And this one right here, the, the most recent Randy Moss Ultimate Legend, should not be that cheap. I'm just letting you guys know that. When you guys ask me like, yo, bro, what do you mean about this? What do you mean about that? You know, uh, he's not garbage. Bro, just go ahead and check it out. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what's going on with that and then let me know what happens because it's a reason why people are getting rid of him. And keep in mind, um, also Chad Ochocinco, they both had 99 catch. When you chem them up with toughness, it doesn't matter. The same thing with, um, you know, as far as Ladanian Tomlinson goes right here, he his carrying goes up to a 99 when you max out toughness. I, if you guys have ever seen me live stream, he fumbles the ball at least seven times a game. So like I said, a lot of the things that go on with the game it doesn't really matter. Like, look, I still got a freaking Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving player, bro. Like, he's a Thanksgiving player, and I don't even really care that he's garbage. I just keep him out there because it's like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be realistic about this stuff. It just really doesn't matter who you have out there at any time. So we just got to deal with that. And, um, you know, pretty much right here, right, uh, when you're looking at the defensive side of the ball, that Anthony Barr, we tried out the 95 overall Pro Bowl. Uh, Anthony Barr, he still he still gets bad time and user picks. It's just it's just a really exciting thing when you want to just do bad things to yourself when you play this game. It's just like why are you doing it? Why do we why do we log in? But you know what it is, bro. Like they got us, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to play some football? Um, they got the license. We don't know what's gonna happen with that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully something goes on and then we figure out what's. Well, I don't want to use hope on that. 
maybe something goes on. Maybe somebody else steps up, drops some more cash. It's all about the dollars in a sense. So maybe somebody could get, you know, infiltrate the license situation. But gameplay has been horrific. So look, let's just take a look at what's going to happen. Now, look, Willie Brown is garbage, but he offers me, uh, what is that? That's blanket coverage, right? He's at seven. See, and then that helps with the finesse move. But, um, uh, for, you know, for Pierre Paul and stuff like that, it kind of helps with that situation. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because Willie Brown is garbage. And um, he, does, he doesn't really play defense. So when Night Train Lane comes in, I'm probably, it, this is going to be kind of interesting because Night Train Lane, more than likely, we're going to have to start him, right? Champ Bailey hasn't been playing any defense as of late. As a matter of fact, after the patch with the, um, the whole situation that went on with the uh the Hail Mary glitch, aka you know, whatever the whatever the um exploit was that they're calling it with the target passing. Um he doesn't play Ch Champ Bailey just stopped playing defense. He just he really just doesn't play defense anymore. And like I told you guys in, in one of my previous videos, before it was the soft squat that turned to man coverage, now the cloud flat also does that. So you really have no it doesn't matter that this guy's a 96-man coverage. It's going to automatically beat it with the C routes. Like, the C routes, are if you run the C routes right, right, and um, you set it up so that it's one C route on the side of the field, like, you know, you motion players to the other side and it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to automatically turn to man coverage, right? So even with the out routes, it's a lot more difficult to cover everybody. So 99 overall, Night Train Lane, he, it's not like he's going to be a savior. You know what I'm saying? And what he's going to do is he's going to destroy the market when it comes to cornerbacks. So, like, if you were looking to get a Deion Sanders or whatever like that, the uh, 97 overall, that's going to be the best time to get it. Because when you start looking at the fact that none of these cards are playing defense, it's going to be a... If they do, like, a, 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 a like a patch, another patch before, like, you know, whatever, because we have, like, what, four or five months left before everybody just completely explodes playing Madden. Like, right now, the only thing that you can really do right now is the boss battles thing because you might want to complete that and stuff like because they do give you rewards when the new Madden starts for how many things you complete. So I wanted to make sure you guys understand that if you're like, yo, why are you doing that? Because we don't never know what type of Madden it's going to be. Like when I was doing Madden 17, Madden 17 was outright garbage, right? But I had already started doing things because I told you guys I was going to do it. So I was completing a lot of different things. And um, as soon as I logged into Madden 18, I had like so many free cards. It was weird. It was Nats. And it was stupid that they did it that way, but, you know, I don't think the Nat situation is going anywhere. And you guys will be lucky if you get a trade block because EA is trying to get all the cash. So anyway, this is what we're doing, right? We're going we're gonna to probably, you guys got to let me know, Ladder Goat, a.k.a. Ladder Bay, a.k.a. Lat, lat your mom's out. I, I, I don't think that I'm going to be able to keep him as a starter. So we're going to probably put Night Train Lane here um, and maybe put Marshawn Lattimore on the left. What do you guys think about that? And then put Chan Bailey in the slot. See, that's the thing. I, I don't like seeing Willie Brown's face, so it annoys me. Like, the whole situation, like, his whole card art, everything about him, just it, it just annoys me. Um, so, I don't know if we should probably keep him in the lineup. I'm thinking Night Train Lane here. We put Ladder Goat, a.k.a. Ladder Bay over here. Champ Bailey goes here. Because I don't really run anything with, with, like, the Nickelback. Because, like, Nickel Blitz and all that stuff, it's, like, really stupid. They'll just run inside zone and just, and just take your life away. It's, it's really weird. Uh, but that's the way it happens. But that's something that I'm thinking about doing. I want to know what you guys think about that. Now, as far as Sean Taylor, I don't know when our next upgrade is coming, but I'm pretty sure they have to do something to make him a 99 overall, just basic, from the people that completed the objectives after you got Sean Taylor. We have to wait to see what happens. Uh, EA is taking their sweet time with that. Um, other than that, Miles Garrett, a lot of you guys kind of told, you know, you guys said that uh, the new dent, the limited dent was pretty decent. Uh, I might look into that. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure if I am going to look into it, but it is a possibility that, that I'll probably look into it to see exactly, you know, is, is Miles Garrett really worth it? Is he is he is he worth it to keep in right now? I know with the boss battles player, I probably were going to take Earl Campbell, but there is a chance I'll take uh, Ed Two Tall Jones too to get rid of uh, Pierre Paul because for some reason he just got nerfed too with the patch. I, I don't know what's going on, guys. This guy Bo Jackson sucks though. Just so I can add that in. That guy, this guy right here, he sucks. Ken Houston, uh, eh, whatever, bro. And um, pretty much, I got, you know what? I got to get, just get another punter, bro. Tom Brady, he like, because I've been punting more because of the most recent patch. So I probably should get another punter, like a real punter. Let me, what, how much is that Marquette King going for? Hold on. And you know what? I wanted to run more pitch more out of Texans offense. Should I run more pitch? 
I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, should I, should I really run more pitch or not? Nah? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it just in case I want to run more pitch. But let's go ahead and um, let's look at King real quick. See if we could, um, cause we, yeah, I've been telling you guys I'm gonna get rid of that idiot that I have there, and I just left him in anyway. It's just like, I, I don't know what's going on, guys. But with with the whole thing, I don't know if you guys are gonna get Night Train to sell him or what. This, why is he 235 in this one? I don't want this one. I, I don't, I don't want that, bro. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, yo, bro. They serious right now? You think I'm gonna spend 200k for a punter? Where's the gold one? Yeah, 55 is good. All right, this guy. This guy was booting it out the stadium for me. 84. Hold up. So wait a minute. What's Tom Brady's kick power? 80. Oh, he's an 80. Cause I remember this Marquette King was kicking it out of the. Yo, he. Yo, this dude. He, he's lethal, bro. And he's mad fast. All right, so we'll we'll take him, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, because Tom Brady. The way that last year you could actually utilize uh Tom Brady a lot more. Right now, Tom Brady throws the ball worse than the punter. Like if you use a punter to um to actually do the fake, the punter has a better chance of getting the pass where it's gonna go, uh, you know, than Tom Brady. And I know it's weird. Like last year, I was rocking with Ben Roethlisberger. I was doing a lot of weird things because Madden 17 is just a free for all. It was just like really, really wild. So that's what was going on with that. So um, that's how I used it. But this year, it's a little bit different. Like do like Tom Brady just stands back there and then he lines up the pass and throws it to the defender. It's kind of nice if you look like if you if you really like pain. It's kind of nice to see it happen. All right, so Tom Brady, you need to get out of my lineup. Um, is he a gnat, though? I don't know if he's a gnat. Is, is that guy a gnat? I got to check that. I got to check to see if that guy's a gnat. Hold on. Let me go back over there. Because if he's not a gnat, we could go ahead and rage sell him right now. Because there's really no need for him to be on the squad, uh, realistically speaking. Um, let's go down to 87s and see what we got going on. He should. He, he, hold on. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. Just keep saying bum, and he should appear soon. Bum. All right, there he goes. All right, so he's a gnat. All right, so that's cool. So we can't really do nothing with him anyway. So that's pretty much what's going on. That's my plan with Night Train. I don't know what else I'm going to do if like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the game um, in that mode. Because I was trying to play Mutt Drafts, but then I realized that they patch Mutt Drafts also. So you can see it's three days away from um, um, Night Train. And then you also get 100K or whatever. But like I said, I don't know, guys. If you guys want Mutt Drafts, you know, I can see what I can do with that. But Mutt Drafts is also garbage now. But you can burn people in Mutt Drafts. That's the only thing that's good about it. You can really, like, beat somebody deep, unlike Mutt head-to-head -head seasons. So let me know what you guys are thinking. What are you guys doing with your Night Train lane? And, um, you know, get, get at me. Let me know what's going on with it. Uh, go ahead and do a video view goal of about 50K for this video. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. One love.